YouTube. This is my guide on how I found to depin the F8 connector in a early single overhead cam S13 engine bay. It's, the connector is located down here by the uh, battery and the reason you might want to do this is to pull out the injector uh, 12 volt power feed which is non-switched which if you're going to an aftermarket ECU like a mega squirt uh, usually doesn't work too well. They want you to, to put that on a relay, so this is a good, clean place to unplug it. Uh, so I went ahead and used a stripped bobby pin. I just scraped the, uh, the little goo, the blob you can see on that side. I scraped it off with a razor blade here. And you take the harness, and I'm holding it with one hand there, and you see those little tabs down in there? You slip the, the bobby pin in close to the metal connector and then put pressure on it so that it bends, it lifts that tab away like you're seeing right now from the pin. And it doesn't matter that you're putting pressure on the pin, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty light. And then you use, I used a pair of needle nose pliers to pull the wire out of the back with my other hand, which I can't show you because I'm holding the camera right now. And yeah, that took me a little bit to figure out, but this guy came out. Not too much damage on the connector. It looks pretty clean in there. And then I'll be able to uh, trim down a spade connector and run my, my switched, my relay input power into this. And this is, again, like I was saying, what feeds your, your injector 12 volt. And it also feeds the positive side of your ECCS relay. But uh, in my application, it doesn't matter. I'll just turn both relays on at the same time with the Mega Squirt, and it should work out all good, keeping the uh, stock wiring harness. And I also uh, believe as long as you wire this relay to turn on with the ignition switch, uh, it would work in the stock application also. The, the ECU, uh, if you put the stock ECU back in, it would still work. And yeah, that's all. Hope this helps someone.